Ron Folk farms near Holdfast, Saskatchewan, and enjoys getting a visit from his son, Kyle, whenever he can take a break from his career as an electrician in nearby Regina. It was on one of those visits that Kyle learned about the dangers of grain spoilage in a canola bin, which motivated him to design a bin monitoring system called BinSense as part of his Intragrain Technologies company. It had been a while since he went and had a look at it, and he came out here, uh, he had it, it was supposed to be getting moved, it, and it hadn't, the semi hadn't come to pick it up, and he came back here just to check it out, and it was in about May, and uh, it, it was starting to heat on him, so he grabbed the auger and went to put the auger in the bin, and, and it wouldn't go in the bin, so it was just the mad panic, rush, hurry up, get it out of there, let's move it, turn it, do whatever we got to do to get it out of there, get it to cool off. The canola ended up being sold at a reduced price, giving Kyle even more motivation to complete his bin monitoring system. BinSense allows farmers to keep an eye on the temperature of the grain on the internet, which means they can be just about anywhere. I'll actually show you my, my father's farm here. You'll go to the, right to the website and log in. It'll take you to your yard site as you've laid it out for your quote initially and it comes up and it'll indicate which bins are being monitored, which ones, if, if it's green it's good, if it's yellow or red it's starting to heat, something's wrong and something would show up in your recent alerts and notifications. The system has temperature sensors every four feet in the bin and takes readings every hour. If it discovers a problem in the grain which needs attention, it will send you a text message. Kyle's dad told him it saves a lot of power because he can see when his grain is down to a safe temperature and turns the fans off. Previously, he'd often left the fans on for far too long. The system also gives farmers a reading of the level of the grain in their bins. It appears as though bin H7 or bin 7 in yard, home yard, whatever you've named them, is being emptied. Um, it's kind of a, also works as, doubles as a, as a theft detection thing as well. If you're not at your yard site, it'll, it'll notify you that some, your, your grain's disappearing. And if it's not you, then you can get out there and, and see what's going on. Getting a price quote on equipping your bins with BinSense can be done at the intragrain.com website. So you click get a quote, it takes you to the grid. Here's where you can lay out your yard as it is exactly in your layout. Um, you can set up how, whatever size bins you have, flat bottom, hopper bottom. You, you, can, you can put in a building or a structure to, to keep your bearings in place if you want to put your shop in there just so you know, so it looks, it looks the way it really is in real life. If you then agree to the quote from Intragrain, they will install your wireless, battery-powered system accordingly, or you can do it yourself. A bin over 24 feet in diameter requires multiple cables. If it is smaller, it should only need one. To mount it inside the bin, you drill a hole on top of the bin and drop the cable inside the bin and then screw down this top portion cable mount to the bin. At the bottom, you tie off the last few feet, it won't go right down to the bottom of the bin, the last few feet uh, you tie off with the rope and we send a floor mount and a snap link for the bottom so that when you empty in the bin and it gets low you can reach in and you can unhook it and go hang it on the door so you can run your bin sweep or, or you can run uh, your, your vac inside there. A master unit is required at every site, which is what sends all the information from the bins through the cell towers and then back to the website. The remote units is in addition to the master unit. So if you want to monitor multiple bins, you get a remote unit for each bin that you wanted to monitor. Every hour, these wake up, read the temperature, send that information over to the master unit, and the master unit then relays that onto the website. The bins need line of sight access for the remote units to communicate with each other. Folk told us a bin sent system for a farm site with half a dozen bins would cost close to $6,000.